Hello, everyone. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I am about to reveal a bunch of new collections. I know you guys love these reveals, and I've got a ton. I bet I have ten, eight or ten, a whole bunch. Anyways, I've got Stampery and Chalbella up. So first, let's go over this romantic uh, collection, which is Cozy Winter from, look how pretty that is. It's so feminine, uh, from Stamperia. I'm going to go over the images in the collection pack, and then I'll show you some of the extras that we have also. Oh, isn't that lovely? That would make a beautiful cover. Could do a lot with this too. I, to me, their um, flowers and some of the images that they do, like this little cluster here, are so easy to fussy cut. And that's a nice, beautiful, simple page. I think I like this one better. So this one I would definitely use the B side. And of course, a Christmas tree is always lovely. Look at the bow. That's a nice, simple background. Easy to put photos on. This is pretty. You definitely have a nice photo right there. Looks like pastries. I guess that's wine. I don't know. Perfume, maybe. <laughs> I guess that's a cake. So lovely. These are really lovely as well. That's lovely. You know, I my my uh, mother in law does this at Christmas time. She takes down her regular pictures and puts up. Christmas pictures. So I could actually see this framed and featured somewhere in your house as well. I think it's kind of neat. She does it every Christmas. Nice, nice card toppers. These, um, or ephemera, whatever you want to call them, but these would be very easy to, oh, oh, I love the presents. Very easy to make into cards. Very lovely. Both sides. So I'd be tempted to use the frame side and then add um, some fussy cut items. And the circles, I like the circles, kind of breaks up um, your album, which is so, um, has so many right angles on it. That's lovely. They almost always feature a clock. Pretty, pretty. And oh, look, see, all these little teeny elements would be easy to fussy cut and lay on top of a card and get some dimension. Lovely. So that is the Romantic Collection, Cozy Winter. That comes in 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and 6 by 6. In addition, there are coordinating die cuts, which are also great for cards. And these are chipboard, just chipboard. Sometimes they're stickers, so I just wanted to make sure. We've got these wooden shapes. They're soft. So there's the birds. So if you look through the collection, you can find some of these coordinating elements. And I love a pair of skates. There they are. <laughs> and this is the one that's stickers. Is that right? Cozy Winter. And these are stickers. And they're thick, like chipboard, just so you know. And then I've got a couple of the rice papers, which make for, and Christmas is a great time for it too, beautiful boxes. or decoupage projects. Okay, so there we go. So that is Stamperia, Cozy Winter, very close to Graphics 45, Let's Get Cozy, which I just released. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull in an older, is it an older collection? I think it is, and they're, they've done, yes it is, it's Cosmos, I think. Yeah, and they've added some additional items to that overall collection. So if you are a lover of this collection, there's all kinds of new goodies. So we've got, I'm sorry, I have to really struggle because it doesn't really say, I think these are chipboard, yeah, chipboard. And then these are slightly translucent. And oh, the package is split, which is not good, but good for me because I can pull one out. So they're very thin and they're plastic. And they call these uh, clear die cuts. And then a package of ephemera. They really loaded up on the extras for this uh, collection. And we've got decorative chips. This is neat. These make for really interesting covers with lots of dimension, especially if you add some paint or some uh, uh, gold leaf or something like that to make them pop out. Okay, and then this is the last decorative chips. Okay. 
Uh, this is the six by six. Julie left me a note. It says these are sold out at the moment, but they're already on order. So they'll be here, I think, Friday. So this is Cosmos Infinity. So I guess that's the difference. So I think the first one was Cosmos and this is Cosmos Infinity. So if you're searching in our shop, make sure you put the infinity in there. But it should be listed toward the top. I like this. This is neat. These are the wooden chips. They have a collectibles. And um, sometimes they double them so that it's the same image on the front and back, like these and this. And then other times they'll have a different background, which is kind of nice because if you're not into using all these tags, you can use um, the flip side as a background. Oh, that's neat. See the little face? I like this. This is fun. Okay, that goes here. Um, I think we have some more. No, she gave me a lot of it. Okay, so this is the rice paper. <clears throat> That's beautiful. An old, uh, not a globe, but I'm sure there's a name for this. Astronomer's chart. It came to me. Here you go. Isn't that pretty? Do a lot with this. Okay, so this is the infinity, um, and I'm going to go over each of the images in the main book and then also in the background. So let's start with the main book. See if I can figure out how to open it. Sorry, I usually have these open so you don't have to listen to the crinkle. And I um, <clears throat> didn't get to that last night because I was having so much trouble with my computer. There we go. That's pretty. Look at all those blues. Let me make sure you guys are seeing the whole thing. Scoot that up. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's a great background. That's pretty too. Lots of circles. I like using circles. I think it it's interesting to break it up. That's neat. I don't know what I'd do with it yet, but I definitely would feature that somewhere. That's a nice background. These would make for nice features on um, your pages. And the A-sides. And there's your cut apart page. And uh, some of these, they're, they're usually scaled slightly differently. Some of these images are the same that are in the um, chipboard packs, but they're not always the same scale. So you can't really layer them, I guess is what I'm getting at. <clears throat> it's really humid today. Okay, here's our backgrounds. I would not consider that a background because that's a big feature to cover up. That's a background. It's pretty. I'd have to really think about what to do with this because it's so neat. I definitely want to do something unique with it. Yeah, these are nice backgrounds. Pretty, pretty. I like that. Oh, look at that. The purples are pretty. Okay, that is the background pack. So the background pack has uh, 10 double-sided. The Infinity has 10 double-sided. Remember, this comes in 8x8 eight eight and 6x6. Six 6x6 by six. Six by six is out of stock at the moment, but it's on order. Should be here, I think, Friday. Okay, where are we? So that's Chow Bella. I think I've nope, got another Stamperia right here. I think I've got two more Stamperias. And you guys get to listen to all the crinkling because I've opened nothing. <laughs> so this is Home for the Holidays, which is another romantic collection. And I don't really know what that means, quite frankly. Um, they call it that. I know it's softer looking, but I don't know if there's any other differences because they seem to have all the bits and 
ました。<咳>
The other ones, the images are so strong, it's hard to imagine putting it, putting something down on it. So, and I do try to decorate my books or coordinate my books so that people can see, oh, this is where I would put a picture. <clears throat> so much stuff. So now we're going to look at the patterns and songs. And I think she put them in here, but it looks like there's eight by eight of the collection pack and six by six. But I'll go over that in just a minute after we look at uh, the backgrounds. Oh, lovely. That's a great background. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, this is a great granddaughter collection. <laughs> I can see that. Not that I have any grandkids yet, but... I like these uh, real tight prints. It's very easy to see a photo on that. Okay, that's the backgrounds. Okay, now for all the goodies. Yes, look at that. Okay. Let's start with these so I can get them out of the way. I've got the rice paper, the ice skater. This is called Winter Time. Julie labeled them for me. <laughs> I don't know what this is, circles. I think that is gorgeous. It's called Garland. These are ice skates. And then a nice simple wood pattern, which goes with all of the other rice papers. So you could have a beautiful top of the box and something a little more simple on the bottom. Julie picked these flowers, which are from Prima, to coordinate with this collection in here. I know, don't, don't panic. It's not the red that we're trying to match. It's this, um, this light blue and the pink. They, they go perfectly. So um, we've got the 8x8 backgrounds, 8x8 collection pack, and the 6x6 collection pack. There you go. So all the sizes. The clear die cuts. They're calling this ephemera, and it looks a little bit thinner than their chipboard. So if you look at the chipboard, it's kind of thick. And this is a little bit thinner adhesive paper cutouts that's that's why okay we've got the um chip what do they call it? decorative chips this is an ice skater my journal oh that is nice that's very nice uh village and winter coaches in addition there is the card pack which is seven cards five tags and one bookmark The wooden shapes and then the adhesive chipboard and it's got all kinds of sentiments in it so this would pair nicely with your album or uh, cards or tags even sorry my room has got to be a hundred degrees okay that goes back here and these are mine to keep because that's what I'm working on next okay now the next thing I'm going to show you, you know what? I think I'm going to stop right here. So everything I've showed you up till now is Stamperia. I'm going to make a separate video for the Chow Bella, and that'll be coming up shortly.